Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hello, welcome, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with an unboxing of a mystery kit from Diamond Art Club. So if you don't want this to be spoiled for you, if you're like anti any and all mysteries, feel free to click away because we are going to take a look at the canvas, which may or may not be the more updated mystery canvas that has some extra elements to help disguise the image, but you're gonna see the colors of the diamonds, you're gonna see the canvas, whatever it looks like, and it's possible you'll see elements that will give away the image to you. So. Um, the one that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today specifically, this is Mystery Kit Abstract Animal is the theme. The artist is Katrina Coltes, and the shape is square, of course. The size is 55.8 by 55.8 centimeters, and the colors in here in this background should be a bit of a hint to some of the colors, the vibe of this kit. We'll see once we get into it. But this was a kit that was initially offered as a, like bonus offer after you made a purchase from the new releases a couple weeks ago and it was at a discounted rate and it was like buy within the next five minutes and it you know won't add to your shipping or anything and you guys when I looked I saw the artist I saw the size because honestly most mystery kits from Diamond Art Club at least the ones that I've been interested in have been much larger sizes I saw the the much friendlier size on this one of 22 by 22 inches and I thought ooh. Let me take a look at Katrina Coltis's artwork because some of it is very much my taste, some of it is not. But I was like, based on the dimensions and some of the colors I'm seeing, let me see if I think this might possibly be one of the pieces of hers that I actually would love, love, love to do. There are a couple in there that I've seen in voting polls and the VIP group that to me, I'm like, that would basically be a must have. And I just don't know, like, what if it was released as a mystery kit? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, so I have not spoiled anything for myself yet. I haven't haven't gone over to the mystery group to take a look and see if um, it's been revealed there. But there is a group on Facebook that's dedicated just to Diamond Art Club mystery kits. Feel free to go and take a look over there if you're interested. But we're going to get into this. So, oh, FYI, I wanted to point this out as well. Sometimes Diamond Art Club lists this on the website as like mystery kit number and then there'll be a number after it. It's this number right here is the one they're referring to. So this is technically mystery kit number 38. So we're gonna get into the box. It's got all the usual stuff from Diamond Art Club as far as their branding goes. And we've got, um, we've got like there's on the back here, uh, some instructions on how to diamond paint and what's included in your kit. This QR code will give you 10% off your purchase. And if you're brand new to Diamond Art Club and you want to save 20% off your first purchase, I do have a discount code for first time buyers. It is my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. So let's get into this, this kit. So um, we'll see. There shouldn't be any major spoilers just yet, so you still have time to to click away if you want to see a little further. Oh, here we go. So I always want to point this out. Diamond Art Club includes this little insert. You can pause to read with some general etiquette on mystery kits. So I'm going to ask that you extend the same sort of etiquette here, like in the comment section of this video. And just a general FYI, if you post your mystery kits on socials, um, a nice etiquette thing that I've seen most people doing is uh, putting their mystery kits behind some spoiler slides and I usually put up like five or six because I'm so paranoid <laughs> uh, but that's a really nice option to try to help those that are on socials but don't necessarily want to have images spoiled for them let me give you just a really really brief look at the toolkit that's included it's going to be the usual kind of toolkit oh it looks like looks like that magnet came off of that cover miner that's been a bit of an issue lately and I believe Diamond Art Club is aware of it but anyway let me show you what we've got and I'll explain that in just a moment. So you're gonna get a pen and squishy. The color is gonna vary. Square kits, kits as in kits with square drills are gonna come with some tweezers. They are quite pointy, so do keep that cover on. You're gonna get some wax here in this like pink cat or pink wax in a caddy. There's a thin film on there to be sure to peel off before you try to place any, uh, load up your pen rather. We have some thin plastic multi-placers if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. We've got a tray. It might be this white tray or it might be see-through with gold sparkles. Um, but this over here is a stopper that you can pop out. Handy. We have a bag of baggies to store your leftover diamonds in if you like. And then here we've got our extra surprise elements. So here, 
These magnets are supposed to be attached here on the back. Like I said, these have been falling off of some of the toolkits and diamond art clips kits recently. Um, best tip that I have is to use something like E6000 glue and put a dab there and that should hold it a little more strongly. But those magnets, what you do is you put one under the section of the canvas that you're working on, peel back the plastic cover and set this on top and it looks really darn cute and holds back the plastic cover for you. And the style on these vary. They're really fun to collect, I feel like, actually. You're also going to get a roll of washi tape. The print is gonna vary. I use this around the border of the drill field to cover up any glue that goes past the edge. And I also use this to section off my canvas. I have a video dedicated to how I use washi tape with my canvases and I demo it and all of that. So if you wanna see that, I will link to that video down in the description box below. Diamond Art Club also includes this smaller sticker. I like to use this in my paper logbook once I've started working on a kit. I like that it has the artwork, or in this case, the question mark with the colors, uh, the artist, the size, and all of that. You can also use this on the side of the box if you like to help organize your stash a little bit better. But uh, yeah, nice that they include that. Everything else is included here in this branded dust cover. Now, the canvas is not going to show the colors of the image, however, However, with mystery kits, usually you can sometimes make out patterns in the symbols. Even if this does have, let's take a quick look, it does. Okay, so this is gonna have some additional elements to help disguise the image, but I cannot make any promises. It is still quite likely you may make out some images or some patterns in the symbols that look like something that gives it away. So I am gonna unroll this canvas. You're gonna see the full canvas. You're gonna see the drill colors. So this is truly your last chance to click away. This is for the Katrina Coltes Mystery Kit number 38. Abstract Animal is the theme. So without further ado, we're gonna start unrolling this and here be spoilers. So let's take a look. Man, that really disguises that image. Holy cow. <laughs> that really does the trick, you guys, doesn't it? Dang. I don't know. I don't... Oh, maybe? Okay. Okay. I'm actually... I might see... I might see some things that I think give it away. Some shapes. I have a guess. I have a guess. Okay, we'll take a look at the colors and stuff in just a moment. Um... It's just gonna hang in the background for a bit, but you are gonna have included a pamphlet, thank you note from the founder on the front, some info about what's included in your kit. This is a link to a beginner video with step-by-step -step instructions. I have one as well that I'll link below in the description. Here's a link to the VIP Facebook group. Just a reminder, do not post mystery kit spoilers at all, whether it be pictures or in the comments um, or posts. Don't post spoilers about the mystery kits, but that's still a really good community to join in on. Here we have some info with step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, we have some tips and tricks for how to diamond paint and yet another discount code. And then we have QR codes that'll take you to the app on your mobile device. I recommend downloading it because it's nice to have those push notifications and you do get 20% off your first purchase through the app as well. Here we have uh, the larger sticker sheet. There is the title, uh, the artist, spot to write your start and end date, that big old question mark, <laughs> diamond shape square, the size again. And then over here we have a set of pre-cut stickers. Now, all of these are gonna be just black and white. Now keep in mind, if you're looking at the background on the canvas, you're seeing kind of the watermark and some of the orange and various shades of blue. I'll give you an up close look in just a moment, but the color on the background is going to vary. So this symbol, number one, it will always be a black number one, but it might be on an orange background or a pink background or a light blue background or a dark blue background. I will say that from experience, I find that my eyes did adjust quickly to reading a canvas like this. I actually found it to give me much less of a headache than like just looking at this reminds me of working on older mystery kits where they were strictly all white background on the canvas and black symbols. It was really, really incredibly hard on my eyes. Like so, 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 so hard on my eyes. Uh, this much easier though. It does take just a little bit more brain power because you have to be paying attention to the actual black symbol. So like the number one, as opposed to the background color on that. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, we're gonna have 48 colors in this kit. 
And uh, the color code system that they use is what most diamond painting companies use, which is the DMC color code system. The one exception with Diamond Art Club's numbering system though is anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. We're gonna have four of those in this kit. These are pre-cut for you. So if you like to kit up your diamonds into baggies or storage containers, you can then just peel these right off individually and stick them on there. You'll be good to go. Let me take you on a little tour of the canvas. So up here at the top, we have their branding. Do it makes you sparkle? Diamond Art Club. Oops, sorry to bump you there. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished. You're not gonna have to worry about any fraying. The backing is super, 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 super soft. It's a pat patented uh, formula for their canvas backing and it's really wonderful to work on. They use poured glue on their canvases. Uh, it's really sticky, but it's also really forgiving. So if you need to adjust a diamond while it's down, it tolerates that and it also sets really well too. We have a legend up here at the top left of all 48 colors. We have the same legend over here at the bottom right. And then at the bottom left, we got information about the kit again, the title, uh, the artist, the size, the picture, or the question mark. And I'm always gonna point out, you guys, copyright Katrina Coltes. So Diamond Art Club has legally licensed this piece from the artist as they do with all of their kits. That means that the artist is both given permission for the use of their artwork and is being fairly compensated as well. So I'm always going to mention when companies are doing right by artists. Here we've got links to their socials and yet another discount code. Be sure to follow their socials for the most up-to-date info with new releases. And here's a uh, info about their lifetime warranty. So as long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty, which includes any issues with um, the glue, running out of drills, anything like that. So let's take a closer look at this canvas, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna have a hard time pointing out specific elements, but I do wanna give you guys a nice close look at these symbols. And this is a really good example. So you see here, we have the number two black symbol, but we're seeing it on a variety of different colors of background. Yes, I know it may look intimidating just looking at the canvas like this. I want to reassure you that I, I really think that your eyes will adjust pretty quickly. I found that mine did and it really truly made a difference as far as my ability to work on mystery kits because when it was all white backgrounds with black symbols on top, I found that to just be incredibly hard on my eyes. It was just too much. So I don't know you guys, I'm gonna remind you as we're looking and I'm kind of going, I don't really have a lot of elements to point out here. Um, do not leave any guesses or spoilers in the comments. If you wanna know what the original artwork is, I'm gonna have to point you in the direction of the Diamond Art Club Mystery Kit Facebook group. And uh, that is where they will have <laughs> tried to get as close of confirmation as possible on what they believe the image is based on someone either finishing the kit or someone really like looking at the uh, artwork from the artist and matching it to elements that you can make out. I will say that I'm noticing down here, these two bits look like something to me. This looks like something to me, a little bit of glare, my bad, like this. And there's something about this shape right here that I think I know what we're working with. And I think I know what this piece is from Katrina Colta's, but I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it out loud. Let's take a look at these colors though. Ooh, hello, beautiful. Oh my gosh. Those are really pretty. So lots and lots of blues. Let's get a closer look. All right. So there's that beautiful color spread. So lots of blues like this. I feel like that usually typically means we're either looking at underwater or outer space. Again, don't put your, don't put your guesses in the comments. We're gonna keep this spoiler free. Ooh, hello, no, let me not just skip right past. This is our first AB, you guys, one for one. So this kit has four AB drills. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. I should say four AB colors, not just four drills. Uh, four colors. Uh, Aurora Borealis is what AB stands for. And these are named after the Northern Lights, which have a really pretty like shimmery color shift effect. You can see the, the tops of these diamonds have an extra coating on them that's reflecting a variety of colors. And it's, you know what, you guys, the Aries these have been charted, it's really gonna highlight, dry your eye too, and I think just be really lovely. So love that. So that's our first one. Three bags of 312. Seven, seven, five, eight, two, seven. One, two bags of 823. Now you guys, these are square drills. Uh, which all mystery kits are going to have square drills because they got to cover up that whole drill field. If these were round drills, 
you would see these background colors around the edges of the round drills. So mysteries are always going to be squares, at least until Diamond Art Club comes up with a way to not, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, you guys, we have two bags of 101, our second AB. This is really pretty grayish blue. I really like this AB actually. And then we have some more shades of blue, 799, 992, 993, 966. Ooh, love those. And then we have, these are our little bit smaller quantities, 826, just one bag of 310. Now you guys, around a year and a half ago at this point, Diamond Art Club began manufacturing all of their diamonds in house. The difference is most noticeable with their square drills. They're a lot more uniform in size and shape. They are just super, super sparkly. And then just a few months ago, they made further upgrades, including, you guys, I think that my cat might be about to make an appearance. We'll see, he's really eyeing these bags of diamonds. <laughs> anyway, they further upgraded their square drills to now have 26 facets on the top, not just 13. Oh, there he goes, nope, too loud. <laughs> One of these days I'll make an appearance in an unboxing video. Anyway, I'm actually working on a kit with the, the 26 facet square drills on it now. I'll try to pop up a picture for you guys. They look like they have little pyramids on top. They're like, they're really, really, really pointy. 26 facets, super, super, super faceted. So anyway, you guys, here are ooh, our third and fourth ABs. 100, which is a nice chartreuse slime and 112, which is a nice taupe AB. Uh, so I'll, I'll pop up that picture of those 26 facet drills for you guys again. Um, and they're just even more sparkly than the 13 are, but it is a different vibe for sure. Um, they are gradually transitioning over to those 26 facet square drills. So you'll see them appear in some colors sooner than others. And it'll just be yeah, a little bit of a gradual thing. So those are color spread you guys. I think that that is going to be really pretty. I honestly, normally what I do at this point is then go through and try to show you where the ABs are going to go, but I'm not going to do that with this mystery kit because let's be honest, it would be really difficult for me to try to find like where these ABs are going to go, like picking them out of the crowd. And I don't even know that it would make sense to you because I don't have the original artwork in front of me. I can't tell you like, this is the part of the artwork where this AB is going and whatnot. But we do have a really lovely selection of ABs to work with in this kit, you guys. Between the white, that pretty bluish gray, and then we've got the chartreuse and the taupe. So I think it's gonna be a really pretty kit. Ooh, that's kind of a fun little color spread you can see here. Like I said, all these blues, to me that usually means we're either talking ocean or space. So we shall see. I have my suspicions on this artwork. I'm gonna go take a look and see if I am correct. Just a reminder, no spoilers in the comments. Now I have good news for you. As of the time of this filming, I believe that this kit has actually been listed for sale on the Diamond Art Club website. I think they put it up this morning. It's currently Saturday. And I think after the new releases, they, they might've put it up for just as a regular listing that you can purchase on the website. And it's not sold out just yet. So I will link to it in the description box below. It may sell out at any time and all mystery kits, at least for the moment, Diamond Art Club has listed as limited edition, which means once they sell out, they will not come back into stock. They were they're discontinued once they sell out. The good news is they're regularly coming out with new mystery kits. So lots and lots of fun. I, if you haven't worked on a mystery kit yet from Diamond Art Club, I recommend giving it a try. I have a couple of post review videos on past mystery kits that I've done, both of which are discontinued and honestly quite, find a car, eh, bleh, bleh, quite hard to find at this point. But you can hear me talk at quite uh, some length about what the experience of working on a mystery kit is like. So I'll link to those post reviews below, but please be forewarned that there are absolutely spoilers for those. Uh, one of them is going to be the Rika Raikkonen mystery kit, uh, which was released around a year ago, and uh, the Josephine Wall one, which was, I think, a, yeah, a year ago at this point. And uh, beautiful, beautiful kits. And those videos will be spoiler tastic. So anyway, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I always love getting into these mystery kits with you. I hope that you had fun and that this helped you decide if you were on the fence and just wanted to see more. I hope this helped you decide if you want to go and try to snag this mystery kit for yourself while it's in stock. So uh, thanks again for watching you guys. If you want to see lots more diamond painting content from me, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I share new videos and leave any questions, totally spoiler free questions or comments below in the comment section. Otherwise, I'm gonna let you guys go. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.